First look at Lineage OS 17.1 official build based on Android 10 running on the Xiaomi Poco F1. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video and in this video we're going to have our first look at the official Lineage OS 17.1 build based on Android 10 running on the Xiaomi Poco F1. Out of the box, the build comes with Tribute Launcher, which is Lineage OS's own launcher, and this is how your recents look like. We are going to cover the features which Lineage OS has added on top of Android 10. The first feature you will find is if you go into battery, you will see that they no longer have the option of adaptive battery. However, they do have battery manager which works the same like adaptive battery. So I'm not sure why they renamed it. Next thing, you can go into battery saver and performance. And if you want to enable extreme power saver, you have a toggle for that. And you can also set the option to enable automatic battery saver at these specific percentages, which are 5, 15, and 25. Next up, you'll find the new feature in display. So once you are in display, you will have an option called live display which lets you customize your color profile between three different options dynamic standard and srgb then you also have a toggle for reading mode which converts your display into grayscale mode which is easier on the eyes for reading and also increases your battery life then you have color calibration so you can configure your rgbs using the sliders and in case you screw up you can use the reset button to reset the calibration you can also configure your hue saturation intensity and contrast using the picture adjustment option and again if you screw up use the reset button to reset back to default then we can go into styles and wallpapers and this is where you have android 10 theming in the building you have one default theme but you can always add your own custom theme if you want to go into clock and you have three different options default bubble and analog into grid you can change the number of icons you see on the home screen so you have three by three four by five and five by five and then into wallpaper you do have some pretty nice wallpapers baked in by the lineage os team and my personal favorite is the red one because red is my favorite color then you also have the option of rotation settings here then you can determine what are the different angles at which you want auto rotate screen so you enable that toggle and then you can choose between 0 degrees, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, and 270 degrees. Then we have full screen apps. So this is going to force legacy apps to use the full screen aspect ratio in case you have any applications which are not using the full screen as in they are not using the notch area. You can enable the toggle in full screen apps. Next up, if you go into lock screen display, you do have the option of ambient display wherein you can enable your pickup toggle, hand wave, and pocket toggles all these options are working absolutely fine and they have also added double tap to wake anywhere on the lock screen to wake the device double tap on the status bar or the lock screen to turn off the display wake your device when a charger is plugged and prevent accidental wake up of the device next up we have customizations in sound so you have the option of enabling or disabling the link ring and notification volumes as soon as i disable it I can now configure the notification volume separately in case you want increasing ring volume you have a toggle for that as well and once you enable this toggle you can configure your start volume and your ramp up time next up in privacy they have a different dashboard once you're in privacy you can click see all in dashboard and it is going to show you the most recent access in the last 24 hours so you have google play services you have google you have system ui tap on the arrow and then you can go into settings and configure your permissions for system ui if you click on the three dot menu on the top right you can say sort by time filter by permissions filter by time go into advanced settings and then you also have the toggles to enable the assist trigger detection and show system app usage of permissions in the status bar once you enable this toggle so this is all about the customizations which you get in privacy another thing which i missed in privacy is trust so here you can see your se linux status for me it is enforcing right now your android security patches encryption for me is disabled in case you want to restrict the new usb gadgets when the device is locked 
this is a pretty nifty feature when it comes to security then if you want to see lineage os statistics and if you want to limit the number of sms messages an application can send in a minute and if you want security alerts when your say se linux status has changed or if your build signature has changed in my opinion these are pretty good security features from lineage os next up we have system in system we can go into buttons you can enable the toggle to show the arrows while typing next in case you want to invert the layout of the navigation bar so right now back button is here enable the toggle back button shifted so that is invert layout then you can configure your long press actions for the home button your home button double tap action and your recent long press action then you have customization for the power menu you can choose what all options you want to see in the power menu using the buttons over there then if you want to use the power button to end the call if you want to long press the power button to enable the torch you have a toggle for that and once you enable this toggle you can configure after how many minutes you want to turn the torch off automatically then you have customization for the volume rockers so if you want to use the volume buttons to wake your device you have a toggle for that a toggle to use the volume buttons to answer an incoming call control the playback of music by long pressing the volume buttons keyboard cursor control using the volume rockers if you want to reorient the volume buttons when the screen is rotated and for oneplus devices if you want to see the panel or the volume panel on the left you have a toggle for that as well and bam there it is volume panel was on the left and it is back on the right hand side next up we have system profiles so this is another nifty feature from lineage os you have three different profile options and let's say you want to customize it so you click on the gear icon beside the name and you can of course change the name if you want and let's say we go into wi-fi so on disconnect i have configured that once my wi-fi is disconnected it will automatically go over to the automobile profile so this is all about system profiles then you have customizations for your status bar right now quick pull down is off i can pull down from the right nothing will happen let's change it to right and bam the quick setting tiles are expanded then what all icons you want to see in your status bar you have toggles for all these options next up you can configure your clock position you want it left or right if you want to see the seconds you have a toggle for that as well and what is the am pm style you are looking for next up you can customize your battery indicator so battery status style icon portrait circle and text where do you want the battery percentage inside the icon or next to the icon and you can also add a brightness slider to the quick settings if you want auto brightness you have a toggle for that and you can also configure your brightness by sliding across the status bar next up we have gestures so you can choose between different kind of gestures three different options the old school three button navigation android 9.0 pi two button navigation and if you want to use android 10 gestures you have an option for that as well click on the settings and you can configure your back button sensitivity you do not have options to hide this bar at the bottom so there it is peeps those are the different options or the customizations which we get with lineage os 17.1 running on the xiaomi poco f1 as for the benchmark scores these are the benchmark scores which i got on this build but as i always say enjoy the rom benchmark scores are just numbers and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when I see you.